What's up guys, Kevin here, uh, back again with another video. I am going to be updating my uh, Tom Sachs general purpose sneaker, general purpose shoe, uh, I guess sort of review. Um, it has been almost six months now. I've been wearing this shoe off and on for the past like three months. Um, towards the beginning of when I got it, I pretty much wore it every single day. And then after then it's been like on and off for probably at least I would be wearing it twice a week. Um, I would primarily also use it as my workout sneaker as well. Um, except for runs, I would use it occasionally for runs, but, um, not as much, but uh, I would just want to do an update. Uh, here they are, they're right here. Um, I just wanted to talk about my reasoning for kind of updating it just shy of six months. I think it's been about five months or so now, or almost six months now, um, is because I'm actually like selling this pair. Um, it's primarily because I think I got the sizing wrong. Uh, so, luckily, uh, Tom and Nike have been keeping with their agreement, or I guess keeping with their promise, that this is going to be perennial, um, and it's going to be constantly released. So, I had the Sulphur colorway, which was the yellow and red one, and that one I got in a size 8, and then I realized that the size 8 just fits me like so much better, like night and day. Um, I know in my first review, I recommended true to size, same with my first month. Um, but I do recommend uh, going down maybe half a size just because the padding on the shoe is pretty minimal, um, especially for the upper. So I think it kind of, um, I guess for me, I wear an eight to an eight and a half, but then sometimes I tend to uh, want to go for an eight and a half just because if the shoe's roomy, I can always put an extra insole in it. Um, and it usually works out uh, for the general purpose shoe. I think if you put an extra insole, it kind of elevates your foot and then it kind of causes that ankle padding to not be necessarily uh, the best fitting. So let's take a look at my six month old beach shoes. Uh, also, I've done a little bit of customization, like I mentioned in the previous video where I kind of wanted to do like a paint splatter-esque uh, type of thing. So here they are, I'll do some close-ups. So here are the shoes. They have been thoroughly worn, as you can see. Um, the only way that it's pretty much kept its shape is because I have all the stuff in it. As you can see, kind of the upper kind of wrinkles down a little bit. The sole um, and the midsole is very, very well uh, balanced, well kept. Um, I know a few other people have done videos. Uh, I believe like Roseanneville has cut it open and kind of has explained that the shoe has sort of like a dip here, so it kind of allows for, um, I guess, ease of walking. A lot of boots have something like that. So here's the shoe. Uh, like I mentioned, that cracking is going to appear almost on like the first wear or two. Um, but the upper has pretty much kept its, its tensile strength. No rips really at all. Suede is still fine. Um, no issues there. No issues on the inside. Um, and it's a fairly breathable, um, especially the upper. Here's the other shoe, the right shoe. The right shoe is, I don't know why it looks so beat, a little bit more beat than my left, but here they are. I just added some paint splatters, but this pair is actually going out. Um, let me show you guys some pictures of the sole. So as you can see, there is still uh, some nubs in areas that don't contact, I guess, the ground as much, or I guess I don't lift off as much. But as you can kind of see, there is like some uh, cracking and wearing uh, showing, uh, especially on the sole. Um, but stoles, I mean, the tread is still there. Everything's still really, really good. Let's just look at the other foot. There's some minor cracks, uh, some minor, I guess, small little imperfections, but overall, this has really like held its uh, its weight 
and punching well above its weight class for especially like 110 bucks. Like, can you imagine a pair of um, Stan Smiths even being able to withstand, uh, I guess, vigorous wear? I don't think so. Same with like any sort of Pegasus. I think a kill shot would be like completely toasted by now. Um, and this definitely has a lot of wear left into it and can be given even more wear just by changing the tread with some sort of like Vibram outsole. But yeah, um, I would like to update my sizing recommendation. I would recommend going half a size down uh, from your true to size, I would say. And luckily I was able to hit on the restock. And also something that I've noticed on the new pairs, I don't know if it was just me, but my box is like substantially smaller um, and they're only like a half size difference. So I don't know if like the factory just changed that. Cause I did think that this was kind of comically big for how small, quote unquote, small the shoes are. Like if you really think about it, like the shoes don't need this much space. Like it's, it's quite a decent amount of gap, but that's that. And then I have a fresh pair here. I've not worn these yet just because I wanted to send this out to the person who bought it. And here they are, a fresh pair. I believe this one is manufactured, let's see. This one was manufactured in between the dates of March 30th, 2022 to uh, June 16th, 2022. Let's see when the first batch was manufactured from June 29th, 2021 to December 21st, 2021. So uh, this is like a new batch. I don't really see any difference at all. I mean, as soon as I got them in, I didn't really see much difference between the first and second batch. Maybe, I don't know. I also just can't tell if it's just like Nike manufacturer, like, inconsistencies I guess but looking down on it there really isn't anything I can really tell I mean maybe the suede is a little bit shorter yeah I can't really see too many differences maybe the suede is a little bit oh I remember I did see one difference as soon as I got it in is that I think the Nike on the new one is a little bit more well embossed, but also smaller. So, but keep in mind, this is an eight and a half and this is an eight, but as you can see, the Nike is smaller, but a little bit better embossed. That was something that I did notice that the Nike on this one wasn't as embossed well. Um, yeah, that's interesting as well as maybe the texture of the suede because I do remember um, mine, when it came new, it wasn't as like textured as this. It was pretty like flat like this. Um, but I guess I could go back and like look at old uh, videos and such, but there really isn't much difference between the old and the new in terms of uh, build or any sort of like updates, I should say. Oh, and there's, here's one thing that I kind of noticed is that this looks bigger, right? The suede than this. Again, half a size difference, and this has been worn, so I don't know if like it stretched anything, but this does look like a bigger suede, I guess, eye stay than this. Um, but I'd like your guys' thoughts. This is pretty much side by side. Um, and also, it's kind of crazy. You can definitely tell, like, One's kind of taken shape to my foot a bit more. Yeah, I don't think there's any like other differences other than that. I mean, maybe at the very top, you can kind of see that the suede kind of extends a little bit longer. I don't know. Just maybe a hair. So I don't know if there's any true meaning behind me just like saying this way it looks, you know, bigger in the old one than the old, than the new one. But like, 
you know, I'd rather, I'd rather be wearing and testing uh, the pair that the sizing for me works better. So for upcoming videos, I guess uh, I will be updating them from the correct size, the size eight. Um, but so far, six months in, I haven't need to replace these. Uh, like other than the sizing correction, but in terms of like build, like no tears, um, no rips, uh, laces are holding up, all of that. So this is gonna go off to a buyer. Got them for a decent deal, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching me. Ugh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the general purpose shoe and your guys' experience. I know a lot of people were able to hit on the subsequent restocks as well as the new colorways. I believe there is a dark brown colorway that's supposed to be coming out really soon. Uh, I know there is a trio of colorways that were teased, one that has like that sort of like Jamaica feel, um, as well as one that looks like a gray and red one, but those ones, there's no details. I know the brown one is supposed to be coming out pretty soon. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of the general purpose shoe and your guys' experience with it. My experience with it has been really, really good. It's gone above and beyond what I thought like a $110, $120 shoe would really be able to do. Um, and I can see it easily outliving any sort of Air Force One, Jordan One, etc. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.